So this is Plum Island. This is uh, the largest sewage treatment plant we have here in the Charleston area. And uh, as you can see, it's sitting right here at about sea level. Um, it's maybe uh, a few feet, but not very, very many above sea level. And so I think when we talk about climate change and resiliency, we don't often think about infrastructure like this. And I think it's uh, kind of an overlooked thing. All of this sewage infrastructure sits here uh, at sea level and is really vulnerable. Uh, a lot of the important equipment and stuff is elevated for hurricanes and things like that. And that's a good first step. But uh, having the system under a complete hydraulic load 100% of the time during various sea level rise scenarios is a huge ticking time bomb. Uh, this thing does about 20 million gallons of sewage treatment a day. If that were to be compromised and it wasn't able to operate, all that 20 million gallons of sewage would go right into the harbor, uh, creating a, a huge problem for the health of our waterways. And so when we think about resiliency, I think we need to be thinking more about uh, sewage treatment plants like this. This isn't the only one that sits pretty close to sea level. We have North Charleston Sewer District, which is up the Cooper a little bit. We have some of the assets for Mount Pleasant Waterworks, which are uh, right on the water. And so um, I think as a community and as an industry, we need to be thinking about how these facilities are planning for sea level rise, how they're planning for climate change, more intense rainstorms, uh, and, and, and stronger hurricanes.